Hey everyone, I just received the brand new OWC Envoy Ultra. This is, I think, the very first Thunderbolt 5 SSD, which promises up to two times the speeds of Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. So I wanna go ahead and open this thing up. I wanna see, of course, how much faster it is. I wanna see how much cache it has built in for really large copies, and just check to see if it's any faster on regular Thunderbolt 4 machines than Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 SSDs. So let's go ahead and take a look. Couple cards in here, and here's the drive. That's all we care about, right? So this is the Envoy Ultra, and it's a little dusty out of the box. That's interesting. Uh, but it's a hefty drive. This thing is metal, it's aluminum, it's got a built-in Thunderbolt 4 cable, which I have to say I'm probably not super stoked about because you know things can go wrong with cables. Sometimes you just need to replace a cable. Sometimes cables break or whatever. But I guess this does make this a more rugged SSD. It's dustproof and waterproof and whatnot. So that's probably the reason they went that direction. And just for comparison, here's the Thunderbolt 3 version of the OWC Envoy Pro FX. This does not have a built-in cable and you can change it. And of course, it's a little bit smaller, you can see as well. But let's see if the built-in cable and the added heft make it worth it over this Thunderbolt 3 version. This Thunderbolt 3 version gets around 27, 2800 megabytes per second read and write. And this should get about double that, so we'll see. With the drive plugged in, let's actually test the built-in SSD on this M4 Max MacBook Pro. And this is the two terabyte version, and it looks like we're getting around 6300 write and about 5300 read. And yep, 6500 write and six uh, 5200 read so pretty speedy internal ssd now let's see what we get on this guy let's select the owc drive and open and here we go the first test of this thunderbolt 5 ssd and wow yeah 51 megabytes per second and about 51 megabytes per second so yeah about double of what you get on the thunderbolt 3 version that's pretty cool I mean, OWC does say up to 6,000 megabytes per second, but who's counting? So it's nice that you can get 5,000 megabytes per second or higher using this new Thunderbolt drive, but what kind of cache does it have inside for really large transfers if you're transferring hundreds of gigabytes of files? Does it slow down? Let's find out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these video files right here from Final Cut Pro, and we're just gonna copy them over to the OWC drive and start that copy, and I'm going to watch in Activity Viewer to see if this thing slows down, if I can find Activity Viewer, there we go. So we're gonna watch the disk usage down here. And right now we're copying from the internal SSD of the MacBook Pro over to the OWC, right now at about 1.83 gigabytes per second. So not as fast as we get on the uh, Blackmagic speed test, but let's give it a moment and see what happens. Well, it seems we're still hovering around the 1.8, 1.7 gigabyte per second speed. And this is copying not a ton of small files, but really large sequential files, video files. So we should be seeing a higher speed here, I would expect. So after about 200 gigabytes of transferring files, we're still kind of hovering around the 1.82 gigabytes or 1.8, 1.7 gigabytes per second. So no change in speed after 220 gigabytes, which is good. It's still just a bit away from the 6,000 megabytes or even 5,000 megabytes that we were getting before. And here we go, we are finishing up this file transfer of 538 gigabytes and the speed stayed basically the flat or basically flat throughout the entire copy, meaning that it has a very large cache. It can handle huge file transfers at one time. But why we weren't seeing larger speeds on this drive, I'm actually not quite sure, but I do wanna check real quick and test out this again, this Thunderbolt 3 version, just to see what the speeds are for comparison. All right, so here we go. We'll do the exact same test. Those same files we'll copy over to the Thunderbolt 3 version and let it get started. And we are at two gigabytes per second. I'm kind of speechless right now. The speed is actually higher on the Thunderbolt 3 version than we were getting on the Thunderbolt 5 version. And I'm not sure why. Again, this is the MacBook Pro M4 Max. This has Thunderbolt 5 ports. We saw on the initial Blackmagic speed test, we were getting around 6,000 megabytes, or I'm sorry, 5,100 megabytes per second, and it only got about 1.8 gigabytes per second transfer speed. So the Thunderbolt 3 version has slowed down after about 90 gigs. So that must be 80, 90 gigs is the cache size on this guy. Hey, Future Jerry here, and you know it's different because there's a plant now. And I just didn't like the results I was getting when I was doing the editing, so I want to run that test again. I deleted the files off of the OWC 
Envoy Ultra and I want to copy files over there again after I let it sit for a while and maybe it kind of calmed down, relaxed, or whatever it needs to do. But let's run that test one more time just to see if the speeds are the same as before. So we'll just take these four projects and copy them over here. And okay, so right off the bat, we are getting about 5.3 gigabytes per second copying to start uh, compared to the 2.0 or 1.8 we were getting previously but that is quickly dropping down to three and four and down to the 1.8 gigabytes per second. So it has a small cache for very fast, small file transfers, but when you're transferring more than a couple of gigabytes, it's going to quickly drop down from that maximum speed down to around 1.8 is kind of the sustained speed that I've seen. And I guess now back to the rest of the video. Now this test was pretty unscientific, so take from that what you will, but I do still wanna try out this on a regular Thunderbolt 4 Max, so let's try that out. All right, so let's test the Thunderbolt 3 drive again just to see what those speeds look like, and looks like around 1,900 megabytes per second, just under 1,900 megabytes per second write, versus about 1,900 megabytes per second read. Okay, and let's see what we get on the Thunderbolt 5 version. And we are getting about 2,900 megabytes per second write, and around 3,000, just under 3,100 megabytes read. So that's actually pretty good. That's higher than I usually get with Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 drives on a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 Max. So not too bad overall. So what does this all mean? Will Thunderbolt 5 SSDs improve your workflow? Well, probably not. I mean, I do video 4K editing and I can get by just fine with a regular 10 gigabit per second USB-C SSD. I don't even need Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt does make transferring large files back and forth a lot faster than USB-C, but it doesn't really change my workflow for actual editing, and Thunderbolt 5 won't do anything to help that either. It's nice that it's faster. Well, sometimes it wasn't really consistent in this test, and maybe something will improve with firmware for the drive or firmware for the Macs, but at this point, I would say it doesn't make any sense to go out and buy a Thunderbolt 5 SSD if what you have is working just fine. You're not gonna get any real speed improvements for any real workflow. If you have a workflow that actually can benefit from something over 3000 megabytes per second, let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious what that is. One nice thing is that the pricing for this, even though it's really, really high, it's still about half the price or exactly half the price of what Apple charges. Apple charges $800 for a two terabyte SSD and $1,200 for a four terabyte SSD, and this comes in at half the cost. But again, you can get Thunderbolt 3 for cheaper and be just fine. But what do you guys think about this new OWC Envoy Ultra Thunderbolt 5 SSD? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you think you would use something like this for. I'm really curious, but I'll play around with this a little bit more and let you know if anything changes. But until then, definitely check out this video right over here. It's made for you, I promise. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.